Jehovah's Witnesses, Christian fascists. Like, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I actually don't know what's happening there. New Scottish referendums, independence referendum just dropped. Breaking. First minister. Nicola Sturgeon. Scotland's independent referendum will be held on the 19th of October, 2023. I'm doing an Irish one. I'm not doing Scottish. The campaign is on. Join over half a million people and pledge your support for Scottish independence. Sorry to see you guys go. Sorry to see you go, guys, but you'd be mad not to. Boy, bruv, the Welsh are fucking testing UBI, Wales basic income, pilot will give care leavers 19,000 quid a year. What's going on then? It's like every other fucking part of the UK is doing better than England in every meaningful way. Free Wales, bruv. Free Scotland, free Wales. England dragged Scotland into Brexit. Of course, they wanted to leave. Do a Welsh accent. <laughs> there you go. Shout out to my Scottish ancestors for being occupied for so long and never learning English. <laughs> what? I did it. You said you wanted me to do a fucking Welsh accent. I did it. What? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Motherfuckers be like, you're spitting. I'm like, no, I'm Welsh. Sea dog comes from Wales? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I probably said some really fucked up shit. In Wells just now. Okay. She's going all out, pretty much throwing the gauntlet. What is this? She indicated she would try to whip up Scott's anger that they had been denied another separation vote, arguing that a Supreme Court defeat was signaled that any notion of the UK as a voluntary union of nation is a fiction. Nicola Sturgeon is to take her battle to stage her own independence referendum to the UK Supreme Court. Your silence on Northern Ireland is deafening, King? What do you mean? Just Ireland, Ireland? Is that what you're talking about? Northern Ireland? What's that? The fuck is Northern Ireland? Just more Ireland? Northern Ireland, that just seems like more Ireland to me. <laughs> I love the actually nerds in the chat being like, um, actually, Northern Ireland is a part of the UK and separate from Ireland. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know. I don't abide by that set of those set of rules. I'm going to see how long I can keep quiet about this this time around. I'll be voting yes to independence, but I just went about it far too much before. I think Scotland voted no just to spite me. My prediction is that it will be no by an even greater margin. I predict 58% no. The argument against independence will be simple and effective. The friction between the UK and the EU is a taster. The friction between Scotland will experience with England. Any pro-independence arguments regarding how bad things are can be countered with. It would be even worse. Chucking some stuff about how now more than ever we need unity, not division, etc. Maybe put the spotlight on some bad people with the independence movement. Magnify and stoke the divisions. Get them arguing amongst themselves to drain the energy and positivity. And of course, what currency would we use? It'll be 58% no. Bet everything on it. Oh, no. Let me! You are saying the same thing. Ireland, North Ireland, South Ireland, West, East, etc. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, I don't get it.
Do you think Europe sold the Kurds in Syria to convince them to sign the Swedish and uh, Finland deal? Yes. I think Limmy is understandably jaded. Um, anyone experiencing anyone experiencing politics and recognizing the reality of like uh, what Western liberal capitalist nations are doing or um, not doing really will recognize that all this is bullshit. Northern Ireland is British occupied Irish co counties. Time to learn, bro. It's where all the bombings in the 80s happened. I don't know what you're talking about. To me, there's only one Ireland. And then there's a northern part of Ireland that's still Ireland. Why do you think? What do you think? I don't know what the fucking troubles are, you idiot. What, what is this? What do you think? You're correcting me on this matter, dude? Thanks, dude. I had no idea. That's the point. That's what I'm saying. You fucking dumbass. I know. Oh, thank you, dude. Uh, actually, actually, um, you didn't know that. Um, God damn, dude. Anyway, 10 British slangs. Come to Oi Bruv Land. You'll need to learn some slangs. What the fuck? 10 British slangs, verbs, and phrasal verbs. Lingoda language marathon. 567 quid refund, bruv. Oi Bruv. I'm Irish. It triggers me, okay? <laughs> BBC, I'm Irish. Lake Superior burning an anti choice cuck. Wait, what do you mean burning? Oh, Tom Fitton. Tom Fitton this... Tom Fitton in his fucking shirts. Water is wet and abortion kills a human being. Thomas, not even your first talking point is correct. Water is, water is not wet. What, what, water touches is wet. I'm confident I have a lot more experience in making things wet than you do. Okay, to be fair though, Tom Fitton is pretty hot. So I think Lake Superior actually uh, was wrong on that. What is this shit? New chatters don't know how much you cover it. Hasanabi watches the Northern Ireland situation while mostly managing to not do the accent is the funniest fucking title, dude. The driver still on board. Anyway, to be fair, I'm pretty sure Lake Superior has made more people wet than any other human being. As a part of your bro vacation, here's Jay Schlatt and Jack Manifold comparing the U.S. to the U.K. Dude, I want to I want to do something similar to this. By the way, I want to have uh, when I go to the U.K. I want to I want to uh, uh, you know first of all I want to learn about U.K. slang and even Welsh slang as well. So that would be tight. If there's any content creators out there, you know, hit me up, hit my line. I also want to go to, uh, uh, you know, EU, I mean, not EU, sorry, UK Oibrov Cuisine. I want to fucking go to like different places in one day and try out like all the Oibrov uh, cuisines that they have to offer. You know what I mean? Collab with Bazinga from the Sideman. He loves you. Yeah, I want to fucking hang out with the Sideman. Uh, that's one. Wales is fake news. Just East Ireland. No need to learn Welsh slang. Collab with Nico. I, I DM'd him. He didn't respond, but um, I'm going to DM him again. Hit up Belle Delphine. Is Belle Delphine in, in the UK? Learn about UK slang from a chatter here. Oh, so this, your posting license has expired. 100 Tesco Club card points have been deducted from your account. Your three quid meal deal is going to be a fiver from now on. You will be, you will also be a, only be able to choose from a chicken or ham sandwich. Failure to renew your license is going to result in the loss of more club card points. It's fucking Tuesday! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! 
What the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh no! You're having a fucking laugh, mate! We got Big Ben times two! Two Big Bens! You having a laugh? A second! <laughs> a second double decker bus is added towards the second Big Ben! You're taking a fucking piss, mate! Oh no, that's so good! Like, obviously, uh, I disavow. Wouldn't be good if this happened. But also, <laughs> it's pretty funny. The bell is called Big Ben, not the tower. Whatever, dude. Shut up, nerd. I don't care. Big Ben and slightly bigger Ben, mate. Your majesty. Or second big... Or second double-decker bosses eat the Big Ben. A double-decker is heading towards the second Big Ben and you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to have your second 21-8, lad. Tread carefully. Yeah. In, in, in Oibrov land, it's not even 8-21, boys. It's 21-8. You know what I mean? UK 8-21. They don't even have 8-21 out there. It's 21-8 in the UK. Absolutely mental, brav. Oh, man. Okay, that was pretty funny. Good shit, bravs. Um, she said she would not allow Scotland to be a prisoner of Boris Johnson by allowing him to block another separation vote to be staged. And disclosed her preferred date for a rerun was October 19th next year. She published a referendum bill for a con consultative vote to be held and disclosed Lord Advocate Dorothy Bain, her most senior law officer, had referred to the Britain's highest court. I mean, who can blame her, dude? You don't. Why the fuck? Even the British don't want Boris Johnson to fucking handle their affairs. Like, the people in England don't want Boris Johnson to handle their fucking affairs. So why would you expect Scottish people to also have Boris Johnson handle their fucking affairs? You know what I mean? His own party had a worse no-confidence vote than prior Tory leaders that have been fucking ousted, okay? In the move, senior UK government sources admitted they had not expected. She said Ms. Bain had asked for a ruling whether the legislation was within Holyrood's powers despite constitutional affairs being reserved to Westminster. The irony, of course. The Supreme Court said the request had been referred to Lord Raid of Alamur, its president. The Scot will decide when the case will be heard, how many justices will consider it, and which will sit on the bench. He ruled last October that the SNP had overstepped its powers by attempting to enshrine treaties on child rights and local government into Scots law. In a decision that was seen as damaging to Miss Sturgeon's case, she could hold her own referendum. With most legal experts predicting the court will side with the UK government, Miss Sturgeon said she would fight the next general election on the single issue of independence and use it as a de facto referendum. She indicated she would try to whip up Scots anger that they had been denied another separation vote by arguing that a Supreme Court defeat would signal that any notion of the UK as a voluntary union of nations is a fiction. There it is. Okay. Welsh mania says balkanize the UK. <laughs> I wonder why Welsh mania has that opinion.
Uh, did you already talk about the Republican drawn maps of uh, districts in Louisiana? Yes, I did. To anyone wondering if this, <laughs> whether this map is reasonable or not, you tell me. I see no problem with this. Have you seen this? Please tell me you have us on. I ate a Wigan kebab. Weirdest meal up in the north. Wigan kebab. <laughs> now that's what you call a bussy. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? I've been this? hearing about the Wigan kebab for years, and now I'm finally here in Wigan at the Troller Man, one of the best chippies. I'm gonna go and try one. What the Let's fuck's go. a Wigan kebab? Mate, that looks like yeah, a mate, fucking I've been told abomination. To order a Wigan kebab, but I don't actually know what it is. You don't know what a Wigan kebab is? <laughs> no. Butter, bear, meat and potato pie on. You're in heaven. Carbs on carbs on carbs. Absolutely. That's what I like to see. Oh, go that's on. scran, yeah, mate. On, mate. That's fucking. That's scran. That's Wait, proper scran. 40% of people come in. It's quick and go, quick and ready. And did he call it a Wigan kebab or is it pie bomb or what did he ask? Wigan for? kebab. Wigan kebab. Wigan kebab. Class. Go ahead, then. There you go, lad. Like like enjoy, lad. Like. Wigan kebab. <laughs> that actually looks class. Mate. That is sensational. That is actually spot on, mate. So I'm just looking at the menu here, mate. So I can get a smack for 40p. Yeah, yeah. So what is smack? So he's a Scouse, right? That's a Scouser accent, right? Liverpool. Smack. With the fucking K. With a CK. With a K. He's a Scouser, right? He's from Liverpool. He's not a Tory. It's well known in Wigan. Smack burn pee wet. Smack burn pee wet. Yeah, it's a it's a cheap treat for a kid. Some grown ups get them, but you're generally looking at 80p. You've got some hot potato batter on salt vinegar. What's pee wet, mate? What's pee wet in Wigan? It's as good as gravy. It's it's the it's the water off the peas. You get a few. I have no idea what they're saying, bro. Like literally, no idea. He's a Scouser, and he's in Wigan, which is near Manchester. And I have absolutely no fucking clue what either of these motherfuckers are saying right now. Is pee wet? Is it was that pee water? The water off the peas leaves the gravy. A few bees in as well. Yeah. You don't. You don't. It's free. Just moist your chips up. Oh, you smack. I think I've got room for a little bit more, mate. Can I get a uh, smack bar and pay wet? No problem at all. Get your pay wet. There you go, young man. Enjoy. Cheers, mate. Smack bar and pee wet. Gotta be honest. The look of this pee wet is knocking me a bit sick. It looks fucking minging. Let's see what it's chatting. It's fucking minging. Wait. Okay. So at least, like, British people are not fucking brain dead like they look at that and also see what we see right like it looks kind of nasty like i'm sure it might taste good right but like i always i've always wondered like do british people also see what we see like the rest of the world sees when they look at british food i know mingan is good i just don't i don't really understand like this is the first time I've ever seen, like, a British person literally say, like, no, this looks... Mingan is bad? Wait, I thought Mingan was good. I thought Mingan was good. Like, oh, no, that's Peng. Peng is good. Mingan is not good. Peng is good. Fuck! Peng! Mingan is munted? Oh. Just had this clip, so it's fucking mingin. Oh, uh, all right. Peas on toast is not food. Peng is good, right? Pengting. As someone in the Discord with oibrubs, they don't get why we say mashed peas look like shit. Sock ya, dad. People say lang now, not peng, mate. Wait, why? Why are they eating like the Germans are still flying over? 
Yeah, yeah, this is where the Mingan, uh, I remember this one, the, I know exactly. I've just started this Calypso. It is fucking Mingan. Paradise Punch Lemonade. It is fucking Mingan. Suck your dad. It's Mingan, it's fucking Mingan. This is one of my favorite fucking, this is one of my favorite. I've just God, what a beautiful game that was, dude. It's such a good fucking game. Suck your dad! It's I just ate this fucking Calypso. It's fucking minging. By the way, you're mixing northern and southern slang. Bro, here's the problem. In that, in that fucking island, okay, every zip code has its own fucking uh, lexicon its own rhetoric, its own fucking words, and its own accent. You go from one street to the next, and I can't even comprehend. They can't even... I don't know how the fuck they communicate with each other. It's fucking insane. How do you expect me to know what the different dialects are from street to street? I don't even know how the fuck these dumbasses talk to one another. I swear to God. Suck your dad. We can understand pretty much all dialects. Yeah, bro. North and South are drastically different. There's a Northern Independence Party and all. Yeah, craziest shit we have in the U.S. that we say soda differently. Like pop. That's it. The best British restaurant is a place called Binley Mega Chippy. Uh, unironically, I live in a town where 4K people say Sen instead of you, and they're the only ones in the country. What? Wait, Sen is literally you in Turkish, by the way. I don't know if you know that or not, but that is actually... Sen is you, the word you, in Turkish. A tour guide of the UK. Received pronunciation is the great communicator. As soon as you deviate from that and you go into London speech, for example, then you lose a little bit of the communication. Cockney is based on East Anglian, Suffolk, Norfolk, Cambridgeshire. This is often by actors confused with the West Country where the R's come in and then you get Dorset and Somerset, get into Cornwall. Devon's slightly different. It goes into the nose a bit more like that. Then you go up north to Yorkshire. It's nice if you get a word that's got one of the predominant sounds in it, like Yorkshire. Then you cross the Pennines into Lancashire where it gets much more flexible and fluid in the mouth. Liverpool is there too, you know. It's Scouse. It's a mixture of all kinds of sounds. One of those is Northern Irish with the raising inflections, but you don't get the raising inflections down in Dublin where it has that poetic quality, which is sometimes thought of as being not different from Highland speech, which is uh, also quite poetic and almost Scandinavian. And then you come down to Glasgow and into the lowlands of Scotland where you Let's get all stops and things like that. And then you come down the west coast and you're in Wales, North Wales, where it's breathy like that and down into South Wales where you get much heavier and Welsh people who sometimes even sound a bit drunk. That was incredible. This was the best, most concise Received fucking from- video I've ever seen. Just read Patty's tweets in his voice. Yeah. Why are you getting Connor to send you pictures of his money, you silly sausage? 